everyone, I'm Miss Lizzie, and we're going to do another fun winter craft today. Now this one this week is really, really simple. We're going to make some polar bear masks, uh, face masks that will go over our faces and you can put your eyes through them. They're really, really cute for little kids and really, really super simple. So what you'll need is a paper plate. I just have a standard kind of rigid, rigid one. Um, but it really doesn't matter, like if you have a styrofoam plate, that will also work. Um, or you can use a, a white piece of paper, and if you wanted to cut a circle out and use that as well, totally fine. Um, and then for some ears, you can use another piece of paper plate if you wanted to. I have some white cardstock paper. And then for a nose, I have some black paper. And I'm going to make my mask on a stick so it can be held up in front of the face. So I have a popsicle stick. But if you don't have one of these, you can use some paper, if it's construction paper, and cut out a strip, a long strip, the diameter of little one's head, and you can glue it onto here, and then they can slide it on, through the, on their head. And then also I have scissors, a pencil for tracing, and I have my glue gun. Regular glue will work great. Regular school glue. Um, I, would, I would stay away from glue sticks, but this one it might not stick as well onto the paper plate. But if you're using paper, then absolutely use a glue stick. It should be no problem. Um, but again, you don't have to use hot glue. You absolutely can. If your child is old enough or if the parent or guardian is... Um, going to take over for that part, but I'm using it for time's sake. So it's really simple. We're going to start. I have my paper plate, and I'm going to kind of guess where I want my eye holes to be. And also you can decide which way you want the mask to go. I'm thinking I want my face to go into the indented part of the plate, so it'll look kind of more three-dimensional. So I'm going to trace the circles on the side of the plate that will be facing my face. So I'm just going to do kind of two big circles and I'm just roughly tracing it. Your little one can do this or this can be a part that you kind of do. You see? And I might even want, end up wanting them bigger but we can see. And this is a great craft if your young one knows how to cut or is learning to use scissors if you're there to help them. It's really, really great. So I'm going to bend the plate a little bit so I can cut a hole right through. And then I'm going to cut the rest. This is probably the hardest part of it. Um, and also the bigger the holes you do, the easier it'll be. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just cutting around the line, the circle I do. And there goes a little piece. I have one hole, it's a little jaggedy. We can fix that. But also, it's alright, just as long as nothing's going to poke anyone. And you can always, if there's little flaps, you can always glue those down as well. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. And this is also something you can do with other animals. I just all figured that the polar bear was easiest in terms of, you know, colors. It's not a lot of colors, so you can just use white paper, which most people tend to have, or white paper plates. But you could make a penguin mask. You could make a reindeer mask, all kinds of different animals, a bird mask, or whatever you want. It doesn't have to be winter if you want to make a dog mask, a kitty mask, whatever you prefer. Even could be the child's favorite animal, maybe you want to make a giraffe mask or a hippo. And there we have two eye holes. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but that's alright. It doesn't need to be. And so now I'm going to glue on a nose piece. So again, I'm just roughly kind of doing the shape of what I think is a polar bear's nose. Kind of just an oval. 
And this is really fun. You can let the child trace how they want it to look. And it's a lot of fun to get to attach the pieces and, of course, getting to play with it after. So I'm just going to cut out my oval and I'm going to glue it right on, right below the eyes. So cute! All right, and then the last thing I'm going to do are the ears. So I have my cardstock paper and again, I'm just going to trace kind of semicircles, the ear shape. And I'm going to do one, and then just when I cut out the other one, I'm going to trace it. So I have it roughly kind of that size. I don't know if you can see down here. But again, it's kind of really up to the child if they, they can kind of draw them how they want. And this is also great if um, if you want to color it, this is a really cute craft to color if they want their polar bear to be a different color or if you want different accessories on the polar bear, maybe if you want to draw a scarf or put glitter on him. You could also cover the plate in cotton to give it kind of a more furry 3D texture if you have some cotton balls. So now I have two little ears. And I'm going to glue those on from the back, so the part where I put my face. And I'm just going to glue along the edge. Glue those right on. And now, my polar bear has little ears. <laughs> if you want, you can draw a mouth on it or cut a mouth hole if you want. So I'm kind of pencil drawing where my mouth could be, make him smile, and this could be a really fun thing where what kind of emotion is your polar bear feeling? If they want to be a happy polar bear, maybe a scary polar bear. All right, so this is pretty much it. And like I said, you can go on and add some decoration if you want to add glitter or cotton or you want to color it a little bit, maybe polar bear can have a little bow on its ear or down here, anything that your imagination lends to. And you can stop here if you just want to use it to hold in front of your face like this. And like I said, you could also cut out a piece of paper, the circumference of your little one's head and glue it right back here, just at one part. So it kind of comes out and goes on like a headband. But I have a popsicle stick, so I'm going to use a popsicle stick. So this could also be another method you can use. So I'm just going to glue about a third of it onto the plate, again onto the back where my face will be. And ta-da! Now I can hold it in front of my face. And there it is, a polar bear mask. And these are, like I said, it was really simple. It only took me a few minutes. So this is a really easy craft to do with a lot of kids. If you get a package of paper plates, and like I said, you can make a bunch of different animal masks. So maybe if you have a bunch of kids, you can do different animals and make a bunch of different ones. Or, you know, it's a craft that you can always come back to. Maybe today it's a polar bear. Maybe some other time you could do a penguin or any other animal. This could also be a great craft for um, if you had birthday parties and you wanted something to do together or daycare. So it's something kind of quick and easy that most kids can be creative and do together. So that's the polar bear craft. And I like to include some books with it as always. So I have some nonfiction books here. There's one called Polar Bears and A Polar Bear Journey. So this is one of our older nonfiction books as in probably more for ages 7 to 12 and this is a more of a wordy picture book and it kind of tells the journey that polar bears take in the arctic kind of how they migrate and scavenge but this one has really nice pictures as well so this isn't too difficult and this is one of our easier reading nonfiction books so around ages 3 to 7 and this is just tells all about the polar bear as well how they live, where they live, what their what climate they live in, how they eat, how they catch their food. 
things like that. This is also a really cute one. And then, as a regular picture book, I have Pup and Bear, which is a really cute picture book about a polar bear who saves a little wolf cub and takes him in as their own, and eventually the wolf cub's going to grow up and might return the favor. So this is also really cute if you just want a fun read to go along with it. Or, again, you don't have to read the books, you can just do the fun craft. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this craft. And if you do this craft, please send me a picture at ecormier at drakeatlibrary.org. I would love to see you in your polar bear masks or any other crafts that you make. And I can print out a picture and maybe hang it up on our wall in the window outside the children's room. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye!